rat trap report. We haven't had one for all week. I don't know. It's been set. I don't know if they've got wise to it or... I know, for a fact, we haven't got on top of them, but... Um, yeah, no, not a kill this week, so... I'll have to change its position and maybe take it down other out end at farm and uh, and see if I can get some for next week. Right, I'm off for a paddle about. I don't can't really see out on a morning like this, but just go for a wander about. Got some anti-freezing sprayer, so that's safe. Bought this old spray the other day. I've got a fella to ring about it actually, but I have noticed that uh, I thought back of this shed it'd be all right, but yeah, there's uh, there's a bit of ice come out at jet look <coughs> so i hope i haven't got a little bit of damage protected pump with a coat and valves with a coat but <coughs> excuse me i hope there ain't a bit of damage in booms because we've got a man for it lovely little spray a little hardy 800 litre 12 meters sprayer yeah right little thing it'd be old like to be 30 year old i would have thought maybe a bit over 30 years but yeah someone will do a job for someone This is our dumping area. This is just where we have a load of rubbish. In fact, a bit of it's sold and never been picked up. It's weird, like some people buy stuff and then never come. We'll have to sort these bales out. Anyone, anybody want a life raft? That's a strange one to be on a farm, isn't it? Got there's some nature about this morning. There's Charlie Fox over there having a scavenge. I don't know whether you can see him in distance. Right near that tree there. Um, oh, look here. There's three deer. And in other field, there's another fowl. So, yeah. Will it be very warm for them lot? Oh, look at Jet. She's photobombing again. There's Charlie Fox. He's having a dig around. I just put paddling over these cover crops. And I think I got my seed rates a bit wrong. They're a bit light. I sort of got advice off the internet, uh, these American guys, what to do. And I, I've liked, I would have liked a lot more coverage. Um, this is just oats and rye, and there was a few peas and beans. Peas and beans have gone. Be, uh, there's odd bean left, but oh, that fox is gone now. Uh, peas have totally been dissolved by the frost. Yeah, it's doing summer, summer underneath the soil because we came with a shovel the other day and we turned some over and it was just a mass of uh, roots and worms so it's definitely doing its, its part under the ground for the soil biology <sighs> Whew, cold I'm looking for a bit of seed next year uh, linseed, I want some linseed so if anybody's going to eat for linseed local to the pocket and area, give us a shout. I'll uh, buy a ton off you. Uh, I don't want to be going out and buying new seed. I mean, it, job won't add up, would it? Oh my god, look at the black grass here. Look at that, that's terrible, isn't it? It's just a mass of black grass. You know, we had a, a right kill last year, and we had a real clean crop of barley. There was hardly any black grass under the crop of barley because it was that dense but look look what's come since we've uh, drilled our cover crops which is maybe good is it the answer i mean we'll have a massive a right kill at spring you know i'll come in here with a probably as early, early as i can back end of february and come in with and and probably spray it at 200 litres 200 250 litres of water with maybe four four litres of roundup per uh, hectare or maybe even more, maybe five, and just give it an absolute hammering. And if we do that year in, year out, it might get on top of it, but Christ almighty, that's, that's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. But it's very cushioned, is the land, actually. It feels, it's not frozen underneath where there's a lot of coverage. Now I thought it'd be frozen solid. Where there's wet combines lost a bit of it back and there's a bit more cover, it's quite soft underneath. Frost ain't got into there yet, so it is sort of insulating the uh, the ground. But yeah, there's all sorts. There's chickweed. That chickweed acts as a uh, a cover crop. I mean, 
it doesn't have to be sown it can be like natural stuff just to sort of improve that biology under the soil there's not a lot of pheasants and pigeons on this farm at the moment well we've got our share of pheasants but not as many as normal but pigeons where are they because is it out to worry about is it bird flu there was a lot of pigeons this uh, this summer uh, sickly looking birds and like is it bird flu or someone told me it was to do with the abundance of acorns and they've gaunted themselves and it's poisoned them but I don't know usually when you're walking down here you just like dogs gone in that bit of uh, cover there should have disturbed half a dozen pheasants and, uh, and and some pigeons so I don't know it's weird how they just gradually disappeared uh, in the last six months and we hadn't noticed it and now we're sort of starting to notice where are they? I don't know but that's a right run isn't it I don't know whether it's rabbits or hares but if you set a few snares on there you'd get a few wouldn't you that's a dying old old age uh, trait isn't it snares I bet there aren't many people what can catch rabbits with snares we weren't much good of it we had, we had to go as kids but uh, never did any good, but yeah, that eating game and rabbits and stuff like that, our job's gone, hasn't it? Oh, I think there's many people what could dress a pheasant nowadays. Many hours waiting. I want to thought so. Look and dress one. Oh, my eyes, is, eyes are watering with cold. Where we're looking. Is it? Yeah. We're, we're on otter patrol. Uh, my mate, this is one of my oldest mates, Jason. He's found an otter. <laughs> There's an otter in Beck. And it's under bridge. Let's see if I can show you one. Can you see it? It's there. Can you see it? Oh, bloody hell. It's got something red on it, said, hasn't it? That's, it does, yeah. that's injured, is that, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think it... It, mu it must be because it, it, it was very lethargic, mate, when it come down here. If you look at his hair, it's all red, yeah, look. It is, yeah. So the shot, isn't it? It's, it is injured, isn't it? Yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't normally lay like that if it was in good health. No, we think, uh, well, there are many out there, but someone's had a pop shot at that. Someone's had a go, mate, yeah. I'll see if I can see it from your side. Oh, oh, it's made me go funny. Oh, my blood's gone to my head. Like him under there. We think there's something desperately wrong with it. He's going to be careful. Jason's going to have a sort of a poke it, but I think he wants to out of its misery, really. I've only got my beats on. Look, something definitely wrong with that, Jason. There is, pal, yeah. He's not well at all, is it? It could have been, has it been poisoned out? I don't know. I won't bloody go near it. If you... It's like I could actually... Nobble that nearly by hand. I, I could walk up to it, could I? Yeah. It's not well at all, is it? You'd think he'd just be away down here, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'll give it a chance. By the big out there. It is massive. <laughs> Been, somebody's brought him up and released it. Because he's just, he's just, he's, he's coming towards me like. Well, I won't like a pig. He's got, he's got no, he's, he's not scared of me, mate. I won't want to pick him up like a no, ferret. No, I don't want to get because they get a bit nasty. But it, it's as if he's trying. He wants to come towards me. Like I'm doing this, and he's not scared at all. Yeah, but is he nearly dead? 
I don't know. It, it, I hope he's coming. I don't know what to say really. I can't see him being a, he's a not, tame one. They don't have tame otters, do they? I don't know, because it was coming towards me when I was going in there. He's not scared me at all, like. Even when they're injured or poorly, they're scared, aren't yeah. they? But I don't know. Shall I see how far I can get to him? Your trouble is you're, you're unbalanced. Well, it'd be funny if you fall over so it attacks you. Just see if I can have a look. Yeah, go on, man. He's making some funny noises, is Jason. Will be in a minute when it grabs out of it. What do you think? I think it's coming to me, mate. It's fucking tame. <laughs> He's trying to come towards me, mate. Well, were you were backing off. I fucking was backing off, mate. <laughs> He's coming for me. <laughs> he wants to be my mate. His eye. Yeah. I can see his eye now, mate. He's got like a. It, it, it looks like a cyst or, a, or something on his right eye. Come on. I nearly had him out there. He was following me. Come on. Come on. What does he do when he touches you with stick? Oh, yeah. We'll find out in a minute. No, no. Come on, mate. I think he's a very poorly otter. Yeah, I do, yeah. The cr the kindest thing with, with with that little otter, I think, would put him out of his misery. It would but, be, yeah. But he's just found sanctuary there, hasn't he? He's up now. Hey, well, he's coming back, mate. Oh, is he? He's coming back, mate. Yeah, he's coming back to his little place. <sighs> Proper short days at the moment. Big guy's gone. Half three, well, a little bit after, come maybe quarter to four. Sun's gone. Sadly, hardly lifted above freezing today. In fact, I don't think it has. And it's very, very cold. Well, in fact, anybody, I think it'd be too hard for a winter ploughing. Um, but anybody carrying, wanting to lead a bit of muck onto every land, it'll, uh, it'll carry them nice. So, but uh, yeah, been a very, very cold week, so. That bloody thing's still here. That Ollie's man let me down a little bit. I wanted that out with. I hope it's out with for Christmas. Um, yeah, a few bits and pieces turned up. Now, now major. Might as well have a look, show you. Might buy some of Yeah, it's very, very cold. I bet it's minus three or four already. We've decided to keep this Cavernland power. Uh, we're going to run it next season. It's got a couple of little oil leaks under bed. What we'll um, maybe uh, maybe fix, or just run it and keep it topped up. One other hour, six meters for sale. It's been a good old arrow, really, but I don't know. In fact, it's been a very very good arrow, but it could cover some land with it. So she's for sale. Um, I've got a couple of polymat drills for sale, one an older one, a card type um, runner, total runner, um, that one there, that one's very low money, 1700 quid will buy that one, the power is good, very very good in fact, needs a PTO guard and um, set of tines are fairly low but yeah, um, that can go, 1700 quid. Few elevators, tatey toppers, room stood into row cultivator. Uh, 
George Moat Topper, Riki Topper, three Tickill uh, conveyors, little three for a Dowsall plough, mower, um, a JF mower, that needs attention to be fair, there's something wrong with bed. Um, straw choppers sold, so yeah, I've had them ages, it's funny actually, I've had them quite a while. And uh, they're sold within a few days, you know, of each other, phone, you know, and someone else rung wanting one, you know, wanting it. It's strange, you know. Big double mill, uh, two 18-inch rollers. Uh, thinking of splitting it, to be honest, I will sell the rollers separate and do something with upper and stand, you know. Um, this polymat, this is exactly the same as ours. Um, that is a right thing. Pre-M markers, following arrows, a few bent tines, what are very easy to sort out. Very tidy thing, actually. Um, it can go at two grand. Uh, mix max, 10 cube mix max. Two grand. Oh, that straw chopper, we got out at Euro. We're going to keep that, I think. Um, I think it's about time we've got bloody bits and pieces of stock all over well if he can run our ollie can run round sort of on a morning for an hour and just bed everything off um big mixer big coon 1460 mixer big two rotors in bottom with blades on that'll cut anything up so i've got a man maybe coming to see that two row subsoiler foster um 14 foot um fergie discs they're right set actually. They come from a bit of a, a, a farm clearance and uh, yeah, they're right set. They'll be an age like, but so anybody want any 14 foot disc, trail disc, is a shout. Hotels. There's a bit of stuff from below. Yeah, right, home for me, I think. It's uh, bloody cold. We've, uh, our, we've treated ourselves to a calf camp. Like rotates and you can zoom in and it's infrared and so we're gonna put it in this yard um, and that's just turned up so we're gonna play with that and see if we can get that rigged up um, but uh, yeah Phil's had a disaster last last outing with with bloody Simba he um it's always been a bit funny on on depth stops and it, it sometimes comes down anyway it came down coming down Bealby straight, just coming home. And look what it's done to that disc in there. It's bent the bloody thing double. Whether it's cracked the housing on that disc, I don't, on that bearing, I don't know. But we have to take that to bits and take the shaft out and fix that. So we're tired with the idea of replacing it for something. But I don't know. It's as Phil says, it just does does what we want it to do. But... I don't think I'd buy anything on three-point linkage. I think I'd buy something else trail, but um, I don't know. The X-Pan, I'm just sort of... They just can cause a little bit of a wavy effect. Um, you know, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to replace it with. Or maybe just stick with what we know. Right, if you like these videos, tick and subscribe or whatever you do. Ring bell. Of a well, of a rough hardy farm in East Yorkshire. Bye for now. <laughs>